Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Pro Tree of Nights and I have a sales update video for you. So this is going to include Etsy, Poshmark and eBay as it usually does. And this is going to be over the last couple of weeks, just a few different things that have sold basically. I've picked out a spectrum of things. Um, so I have some good high end sales and then I have some just kind of like lower, like kind of, I guess what you would call bread and butter or just really standard sales, the things that kind of keep me ticking over on a daily basis. And hopefully a whole bunch of these things you will recognize from recent hauls because I've had quite a few items that have moved fast, which is always interesting to see, at least I think. So uh, let's just dive in. So first of all, we'll start with Etsy. This was one of my best sales of the last couple of weeks. Really, really pleased with this. I picked this item up in a thrift store for $6.99. I knew it was special as soon as I saw it. It was absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, it was from the 50s. It was by a specific designer, Maurice Rentner. Um, and this one sold, I think it was listed for maybe like two months at this point and it sold for 200 um like i said i paid 6.99 originally when i found it and um it also went off to germany for a second life so i'm really really excited that somebody has found this and will completely love it so 200 for this item definitely a fun sale to have uh, next is a vintage distressed wallet. Um, uh, sometimes I pick these up. This was like 50 cents at a rummage sale. I think it was in good shape. You can tell it's older just by looking at it. It had the kiss lock area on the back, which is for like, you know, coins and things like that. Here's a close up. It's just cowhide. Um, these are really, really standard items for me. They're so quick to sort of photograph and list. And it's sold as they usually do for $19.95 plus the shipping, of course. And then the last item was this UPS vintage uh, snapback mesh kind of like trucker hats from the 80s. Picked this up for 25 cents at a yard sale and it sold for $24.95 plus shipping. All right, on to Poshmark real quick. Uh, so this item I picked up in a recent haul. Um, it was what I refer to as a junk picker's paradise. It was a yard sale I went to several times over one weekend. I'll um, go ahead and just link one of the yard sale thrift with me videos right here so that you can check it out if you're interested but I found so much stuff there that was good and I've sold a bunch of it you'll see in this video so this is one of them um my average cost of goods there worked out at 24 cents a piece so this is one of them 24 cents it sold for 30 it was a Latico um, leather bag and then here is the label in case you're interested there we go Next is this newer tag Lumi, which is not a brand that I know much about. And I'll be honest with you, I can't remember where I've got this from. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I, I guess I picked up at a thrift store, maybe. It's just kind of slipped through the cracks. It's one of those things. I'll show you the uh, brand tag anyway, though. Um, and I'm so glad it went off to somebody who's going to really enjoy it. It was such a stunning piece. I picked it up, I guess, because um, it, you know, originally retail for $100. And it was really, really cute. And it sold for a best offer of $32. Uh, this was one of my most random sales and um, this sold in about three days of being listed. I swear by like vintage Halloween sweatshirts. If you see them, grab them. I'm just saying. Um, this one was upcycled in 1996 by an artist. This is where it was signed on here and it was something else. I loved this thing. So it was all like glued on. It was obviously this haunted tree. It was it's very interesting. Um, anyway, yeah, sold in three days and it sold for $30 and I paid two. Um, fit flops, these always move really fast for me. These were the rose gold cross strap slides. Um, paid 62 cents for these because that was my average cost of goods at a rummage sale, which is a video coming up actually. actually so stay tuned if you want to see me actually find these out in the wild and a bunch of other stuff as well, of course. And they sold in about two hours for $20. Uh, another vintage Halloween sweatshirt. This one sold for 35 in about a day. I actually know this sold same day listed about two or three hours after I listed it 35. And again, I paid two. Um, a pair of Miss Me jeans. I paid under $5 for these. I didn't work out my exact average cost of goods on these, which is kind of naughty, but uh, $30 and they sold in under 48 hours i believe they were um this item i found at that little thrift store where for a while they were doing all the clothing and shoes and stuff for 25 cents this was one of my 25 cent finds it was just this crazy cat 
sweater I don't even know and their expressions I couldn't get over it they just they were hilarious um, and I listed it high I think I listed it for like $70 which was definitely pushing it but it had a bunch of interest and anyway someone came along and offered me $45 it had been listed for about three weeks and I, like I said I paid $0.25 cents. I absolutely took $45 and they seemed very happy with it so there we go um, Harley Davidson spell out top I paid $3 at a yard sale and it sold for $25 on a best offer Cavu, this was from a recent yard sale haul, paid $2 for this and it sold for $22. Again, the sort of novelty prints can do better, but it was in really good shape and it's a nice color and stuff. So $25 on that. And this was also from that little Junk Picker's Paradise uh, haul that I was telling you about. Um, so these cost me $0.24 cents as well. They were a pair of Birkenstock Batulas, really good shape. Um, and they sold for $40 in about an hour of being listed as well. This also sold within about an hour or two of being listed from that very same yard sale. So also looking 24 cents um, and it sold for $30 and it was just a vintage Disney sweatshirt, but it was collared, very 90s. And then there was lots of glitter involved as well. So it was an adult one, <laughs> but it was very, very cool. Um, OK, and the last one thing that I'm going to show you is a bundle. So. These all came from either the Junk Pickers Paradise for 24 cents or I paid um, a dollar for them at a recent uh, yard sale. Sorry, I'm trying to get it all straight in my head. A recent sort of yard sale slash estate sale. Um, so they were all listed for maybe like a day possibly up to two days before someone came and bundled all five of them and bought them so i'll show you them and then I'll let you know what they sold for so we had a vintage mickey mouse sweatshirt here with kind of like an argyle uh, detail we have a vintage snoopy christmas sweatshirt we have a vintage mickey kind of striped embroidered sweatshirt we have the great pumpkin patch a 90s halloween sweatshirt and boo <laughs> whatever you want to call it Halloween cow sweatshirt as you do and they sold for a total price of $117 and I had $3.50 into all of them all together and hopefully that person loves them okay and on to eBay real quick another pair of Birkenstock these are the tatami ones they're all under the same Birkenstock umbrella but they just have like different names and stuff um, again 24 cents the same haul sold for 30 um next is a little coffee warmer that i just picked up um, i don't even think that that thrift with me and haul is out yet um but it sold again in under a day of being listed i paid one dollar and fifty cent for it i actually looked it up there and was really surprised that it was selling uh, but decided to grab it for a buck fifty and it sold really quickly for 28.99 plus the shipping so there you go the more you know <laughs> Uh, this was also a really quick sale. This sold within a day. I picked this up at a rummage sale for 62 cents is what it worked out at. And I grabbed it because on the bottom it was marked. Um, this was the maker's mark and it was made in Italy. When I looked it up, uh, these bowls were selling like as a pair for 24. So I took a best offer of 15. And like I said, it sold in just a couple of hours being listed plus the shipping as well. And it was quite heavy. So it was quite expensive. And I had a few little bits of cosmetic wear as well. So uh, another 24 cent item from that junk pickers, uh, thrift haul, um, Care Bears Cheer Bear 2004 like security blanket or a lovey and it sold for 18 this was listed for about a week and a half these little loveys and stuff really do sell because people want replacements and things like that um lily pullets address this was literally the blue tiger lily which <laughs> had tigers and lilies so i can't believe i didn't get there on my own but anyway thank you google and people helping me in the comments as well so blue tiger lily high neck dress this was the white label so it's the older lily pullets label right there i still pick it up it was two dollars at a yard sale um and it sold for four on a best offer again everything is plus shipping as well uh, torrid shorts these are from a recent yard sale I paid two dollars they sold for 20 uh, I think a subscriber picked this up and if so I hope you love it and thank you so much for supporting me and buying something that's really cool um so this sold for 24.99 Bill Clinton for president it was true vintage single stitch all that good stuff found it uh, for a dollar at a rummage sale Another Lily Pulitzer piece. This was the Thatch Patch 
Brighton dress with a pom-pom detail. Um, I paid a dollar at a yard sale for this and it sold for 35 on a best offer. Uh, these were also a 24 cent pick up uh, from that very same yard sale when I got all the Birkenstocks and the Latico bag and the Mickey sweaters and all that good stuff. Um, and they sold for 24.99. They were 90s sketches, something else they were called with denim buckle, buckle detail, like super 90s. So 24.99 plus shipping on those. Um, these are some, this is the first time I've sold these, tarot cards from 1981 but they were uh, they were signed by someone who had something to do with creating them i'm so sorry i don't mean to offend anybody um i just don't know much about this particular subject matter so they were signed by either the artist or somebody um who helped put this piece together um and i picked them up for two dollars and they sold for 40 on a best offer and the last item I'm going to show you, these Clark's Wallabies. Picked them up at a rummage sale for a dollar. And when I got them home, I thought they are way too worn. The colour is totally off. Why did I grab these? I listed them anyway, and they sold in a week for 25. So I guess they did okay. <laughs> so that is everything I had to show you. Let me know down below how your sales are going and what is your favourite thing that you have picked up recently at thrifting or sourcing or whatever you're doing. And if you enjoy thrifty content, especially like yard sale with me's and things like that, where I'm actually out there in the real world picking stuff up if you're interested in watching that then don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can see when uh, the next video goes up i'm putting out daily videos at this point and if you enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up as well and i will catch you in the next one bye you guys